Hey there. So it's day 61 and it's just coming up to 5 to 4 on Thursday afternoon. Got finished up with work bang on time today and I was working remotely. So 10 min minutes after finishing, I was spinning my legs out in the pain cave. And I'm already half an hour into today's 90 minute bike workout. Really helps getting timings right on double workout day for sure. Just alleviates the pressure on the rest time between workouts one and two. So yeah, I've only got another hour ahead of me. It's a trainer road workout called Adams. And it's a nice steady ride, holding me between 65% and 75% of my FTP. And it's fluctuating in wattage every 12 minutes throughout the workout and the legs feel pretty good all in all I think it really helps on double workout day that I come into it fresh and that's pretty much because at the moment each double workout day in the week has a feeling of a re nice easy recovery day so that just means when I do hit that double workout day I just feel fresh as a daisy and that's pretty much how I feel today so I'm going to get this next hour finished up. I'm just watching the 2016 Olympic triathlon just to pass the time. And when we're done, we're going to grab maybe two to two and a half hours rest. And then we're going to hit the road for today's 26 minute endurance run. Tuesday night's run was pretty good. I didn't feel any extra stress with the added three minutes and the following day there was no feeling of fatigue whatsoever so I'm really pleased with where I'm at right now with the running I think I'm on point with where I need to be at this moment in time I finished up yesterday's easy day with a little workout that was unscheduled and that was trying to put the wetsuit on for the first time I knew it was going to be a little bit of an effort but I never thought it was going to take 30 plus minutes to get it on and <laughs> I got quite a sweat I can tell you that for nothing I'll tell you what I'm not quite sure how these guys on YouTube managed to make putting a wetsuit on look so easy I mean they're done and dusted in under a minute if I enter transition one next May like I did yesterday I'll be dead last coming out of it that's for sure I'm definitely gonna have to put a bit of practice in over the next few months and sort of nail the technique you need to get used to what what are the limits and the boundaries with regard to pulling and stretching it at, at the neoprene I think more than anything I think I was too concerned about damage, damaging it more than anything but once I finally got it on it was a good fit obviously very snug and tight quite surprised how constricted you feel when you first put it on but I've been told that's a sign of a good fit and my movement was not restricted in any sort of way and after you've had it on for a few minutes it starts to give out a little bit and feel a little bit more comfortable what I didn't expect was it was going to take me nearly just as long to get the thing off again I, mean, I didn't put any body glide on my, my wrists or my calf area so once I've got it down to that point I just couldn't get it off and I was wriggling about for ages, you know, trying to make sure I didn't damage it in the process. At least I find, found it highly amusing, I can tell you that. But all in all, I'm really pleased with it. And I did also manage to throw on the Roker buoyancy shorts that I bought a few weeks back for the first time. They're not half as hard to put on, even though I had heard that would be a task too. But didn't have any problems with those. 
So, you know, if you're hovering around the six foot two mark and weight wise between, I don't know, 170, maybe 108 pounds, a roker size medium is definitely the fit for you. And in a complete wetsuit, a medium tall. So anyway, that's about me for today, I think. Feel free to drop your messages below. And let's get some interaction going. And hit that subscribe button and help the diary reach across the triathlon community. And I'll see you on day 62. And as always, this is the Triathlon Diaries, and I'm checking out.